I'm Peter Haddock and here we are on site with a first for me. It's a first because I've never spoken to Jake from True 7 before and also I've never come on site to see a Komatsu dozer. Fortunately, Jake, that's happening today, thanks to my friend Matt, who asked me at Con Expo, no less, in March 2020, get me a picture, Peter, he said, of this beautiful D71 PXI. That was launched, folks, at Con Expo, and now it's here, Jake. <laughs> Tell me all about it. Why have you bought this beautiful dozer, and what's it going to mean to the business? Well, we've been waiting for it since, uh, since we first saw the picture at Con Expo. I think my dad messaged Matt at about 4 a.m. saying, we've got to have one, we've got to have the first two. So, uh, obviously, we've been a long wait. So it's all dragged on a little bit, but, um, yeah, we're chuffed to have it, to be honest with you. It's, um, you know, the Komatsu thing for us started a couple of years ago, and obviously um, the natural progression was to... Um, to you know, get a D71 when they uh, when they came out. It obviously looks just like a 61. We've had a massive success, uh, big success with the 61s on the fleet, and um, you know the way the work's progressing with us and uh, the, the way it's coming in, it was uh, it's a sensible thing to do, really. Yeah, and I think what's really interesting, and, and we're hearing it from a lot of the industries, people are going bigger. They're going bigger because two things. One, there's a lot more productivity that's needed nowadays, but also there's a shortage of good operators as well, Jake. So going bigger allows you to do more quicker, doesn't it? In the past, a big dozer like this would just be for pushing. Um, but, you know, you speak to Tim, the operator, and he says it's, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a trim and dozer, yep. but it pushes like mad. So you've got the best of both worlds. So uh, as a hire company, obviously that's massive because it's a bit of a pen knife. You can kind of get it to customer asks for a, a trim and dozer or a push and dozer, you've got a bit of both. And also, you know, for price work, contracting work, which we're doing now, um, we've got the best of both worlds as well. So it's a win-win, really. Tim, you've been operating this machine on a site that not just wants you to have the actual pushing power of this machine, it also needs grading power. And you've got a 3D machine control on this, even though you can't see the masts and the, uh, and the receivers. What's been happening with this machine and yourself, and, and what are your thoughts on it? Um, it's, a, it's, it's a good tractor. It's, this, this thing can push. Um, should push a full blade in top gear, which is good if you're travelling up the field or that. The lack of the mass is a gift because it doesn't climb them, um, which is a problem when you've got the mushrooms. And it's, it's nice. It's roomy in the cab. It's comfortable. It's quiet, which is a big thing. And your visibility, you said to me earlier, was just like really really good like it's like it's a big dozer but it's like a little dozer isn't it it drives like a smaller dozer it's um the visibility is fantastic and the comfort is good and it's um it's really responsive it is responsive to be fair to us i've been trying to get on site with this machine but it's been all over the place yeah. hasn't it jake it's everybody's wants a piece of this machine right. and i think what's really interesting about it is you look at it and it's not a typical dozer front is it you know they've got a lot of the, the sort of cooling pack and everything else yeah at the back, which it just makes sense, doesn't it? With a lot of dusty environments that we get yeah. on site. That's right, I mean, the main attraction was the way the way it looks, the, the vision, you sit in it, it's like you sit in a 61 or a 37, you can still see everything. You know, you don't get a face full of bonnet like some of the other dozers, perhaps. Um, and like you say, you've got the radio at the back, everything's, the system's out of the way. Uh, it's fairly compact considering the size of it. Um, it just works. And I think what's really interesting about this is it's it's a, a real game changer for Komatsu and, and Marabini Komatsu, of course, in the UK, because it's going up against the big boys, but, you know, it really seems to be holding its own from what I'm hearing in the market. But also what we've got is, is that backup, isn't it? Because yeah. the backup, you guys, plant hiring, this is going all over the place. Yeah. You need the backup, don't you? So what's the, what's the kind of backup you're getting on the, the machine and, uh, and the work from Marabini Komatsu? Yeah, it's not, I mean, it's not even just the backup from, um, you know, Komatsu themselves with the machine, but obviously this machine's on full GPS. 3D automatics uh, system running, you know, the whole time, and so, you know, Tim might have an issue with the, you know, with the GPS, whether it's site-based or whether it's on the on the dozer. You know, the, the fact is that MDIG, which is now part of Komatsu, uh, I can just make a phone call, they log into it remotely, and it's dealt with, and it's so powerful from a from our perspective. You get someone revving up, ah, oh, we need this, we need this sorted. 
all right, give us 10 minutes and five minutes, and it's most of the time, most of the time, it's, <laughs> you know, it's sorted. So that's, a, you know, a massive help as well as, you know, the backup from Komatsu. Um, and, I mean, they don't really go wrong, so. Now, a lot of people talk to me, folks, and I'm, I'm doing a series about thinking about the tank and how fuel is used in the industry. A lot of people talk to me about dozers and they say, well, it drinks a bit. You know, what's this actually like? You're the one that's filling it up. Uh, she burns about maybe 150, 160 litres in your eight hour, nine hour shift at full chat, like when she's, when she's working. She's not, so you're getting maybe two, two shifts out of a tank. Um, on the diesel, the Ad Blue is maybe three tanks to the Ad Blue, so it, it is economical for what it is. Yeah. Um, which is a plus because at the price of diesel, it's that's a big cost for the plant people as well. It's the cost of diesel, so if you can, if it's burning efficiently, then it's it's cost saving. On this site, you're pushing big mounds because they've got to get rid of the material on site, but you're also grading it. How's the machine control been for you? The the sort of integration of it and, and the use of it. Um, it's very good. The for, for the trim and it's, it's it's quite good. It's heavy enough that it can, it can cut out. You can take it. Once you get down to 100, 150, you can just rip it out of it. It's it's very good. As I said, it's, it's responsive. So. So the other thing is, you've had a lot of dozers in your life, as they say in the industry. Sorry about that, folks. Couldn't resist it. Uh, you have a lot of dozers, and you've basically, um, you know, you're, you're now on one of the, the premium units. Uh, it's a brand new concept from Komatsu, this. And, and so how does it compare? Um, well, against, personally, against cats, I'd have a Komatsu all day long. But that does come to driver preference. Yeah. Um, I find the Komatsus are more comfortable and better visibility. And me personally, I think the Komatsu will outwork a cat all day long, every day. They're, they're a far superior tractor. When we're talking about higher businesses and contracting, you're doing it by, by the hour, by the job lot, whatever it is, you know, how you're doing that. And I think what people don't understand when you look at this machine, you go, hold on a minute, Jake. This has got 3D machine control on it, full 3D GPS machine. Well, where are the, where, where is everything? Yeah. You know, where is it? Is it? That's that's because, folks, it's a factory fit. Yeah. Which yeah. means you're not having to get people in the winter, in particular, screwing yeah. on different bits. You've not got right. big, you know, masts on the dozer here, so you can't see it. Certain makes it a lot simpler, doesn't yeah. it? And it makes yeah. it much more valuable asset. Hundred percent. And it's the ease of hiring as well. You you know you haven't got to arrange other bits and pieces. It goes with its computer and it's it's ready to go. It's straight off. And folks, MDig is is that business that's just actually been launched recently by the team at Marabini Komatsu because they they recognise that actually having that support and people that know the machines is really important. Yeah. So you know you've had it for what now a few months now? Yeah, a couple of months now. Yeah, this is the first time I've seen it since it arrived. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, what's the feedback been? Yeah, I mean, great feedback. Again, like I say, it's uh, it, all the lads are saying it's a trimming dozer that pushes like hell, pushes like the best. Um, so for our side, it's brilliant. It's been bouncing from site to site with no issues. Um, and yeah, they're coming up to uh, coming up to 500 hours now, so they're getting the money's worth. You can hear in the background, Jake, we have non-stop trucks here on site. And that's really important, folks, because this dozer, not only is it trimming, this is going to be a house building site, so we've got to get those levels right. Because yeah. if we if we undercut, if we overcut, yeah. we have to come back. But realistically, if you're trimming and you're not getting those millimetre accuracies, it's more stone, it's more yeah. asphalt, it's that's more right. foundational material. And it's that's what costs the industry a lot of money. And at the moment, we're shortage of materials all round. Yeah. So, you know, getting this accurate is really important. Look, Jake, it's been fantastic to come and see you here today. Thanks Thank very you. much for inviting me. Thanks very much for keeping me informed <laughs> on social media about all the stuff <laughs> you're buying. And uh, we hope to, to see you again on site with, with some more equipment. Yeah, but until great. then, it's a big goodbye from me from Con Expo over a year ago, <laughs> folks, when I saw this machine back on site with it. Jake, thanks very much. Thank you very much. Cheers. Cheers.